What's going on everyone, Lee Sports back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Malachi Flynn and the Toronto Raptors. Is of course, Flynn has been, um, he's had a very down year with the Raptors so far. His rookie year, obviously much better um, than this year. Uh, his rookie season, he was pretty good. And in, in the time he played, of course, due to COVID, he had more time as the team went through some rough patches with injuries and, you know, COVID protocol. And, and Flynn, he got his opportunities and... You know, he made the best of that, and now we're seeing here again this season over the past two games when um, Fred Van Vliet was ruled out um, of those games. Flynn has come in, and, and uh, he's been he's been pretty good. Um, I mean, you take a look at his last two games in which he started both. Um, you know, he, he had 33 minutes in the first game and 42 minutes in the second game. Um, in the first game in Brooklyn, he had 18, 4, and 5. With He was a 7 for 11. Uh, he shot the ball well. He had two steals. He was playing good defense. And then uh, in the game against Brooklyn on Tuesday, he had 15.6 boards and 8 assists on 6 of 11 shooting. So, um, you know, he's definitely he's definitely shown some nice flashes. Um, and uh, it's, it's very nice to see that. And with uh, Fred VanVleet potentially... You know, not playing tonight. Um, we'll see what Flynn's able to do. Even if Van Vliet does play, I would imagine he'll be on a bit of a minutes restriction, so Flynn will get a bit of an opportunity. Um, and I hope Flynn can, you know, make the best of his opportunities like he's done. It seems like a lot of his teammates and the players on the team really like him, as uh, you know, they talk really highly about him. Um, and uh, hopefully, this, you know, gives Nick Nurse some. Uh, a, a little bit of a sample size and says, hey, okay, we could play this guy. He's been playing really, really nicely over the past couple games, and we're going to give him a shot off the bench, and we're going to give him, you know, a few more minutes. Um, you know, and when Flynn gets minutes, he's been able to produce. So um, definitely interesting, and I think he should be playing. I think he should be uh, the backup point guard to Fred Van Vliet. That's been a, you know, spot on this team that's a huge need, um, probably the second biggest need behind, you know, a, a true number one starting center. Um, you know, we can't have Fred Van Vliet playing 40, 45 minutes a night going into the playoffs. So if we can get Malachi Flynn going, that would definitely be some nice, uh, you know, some nice depth off the bench. And, and it'll give Fred Van Vliet a little bit of rest time. And at least we know with Flynn going out there, we can get um, something on the offensive side of the floor as well as defensive because he's been good on the defensive side um, of the floor. Overall, I think Flynn should be getting some minutes. I think he... You know, I think Nick Nurse and the Toronto Raptors should find a way to get him into the lineup, get him, you know, going again. Um, and if Fred if Fred Van Vliet is back tonight, still um, play Flynn, get him uh, some more time on the court, um, and allow Fred Van Vliet to kind of rest up as we go into the playoffs. And you know, at the same time, try and win games. We need to win games. Try and get to the top six. You don't want to play in the play-in, of course. Um, because even if you get out of it, you're going to play either Miami or Chicago, um, which are some really tough teams. You'd rather obviously play a, a team like Boston or Cleveland or even Milwaukee, a team who we know, you know, we know how to handle them. And, you know, this season we've uh, really done a good job with them. We swept them in, in the season series. So it's going to be interesting to see down the stretch how uh, how everything ultimately plays out. But it's been uh, it's definitely um been a nice stretch here with Malachi Flynn over the past two games. We've seen that, uh, you know, the Raptors can win. And uh, it's obviously very, very nice to see them win, um, even without OG Ananobi and Fred VanVleet, two really key pieces to this team. So ultimately, overall, um, I just wanted to get a quick video on Malachi Flynn, talk a little bit about him and whether or not I think he should play um, as the backup point guard when this team is fully healthy. And I think he should at about, you know, 15 minutes a night I think that's a pretty good range for him and kind of extend the rotation um, you know to about nine guys ten guys as, as we you know approach the playoffs and then as you get into the playoffs you make you know a tough decision to, you know a couple guys they you know kind of get less minutes on that rotation as in the playoffs of course you need to put your uh, your bigger guys out there for a little longer so definitely going to be interesting to see how the Raptors approach this situation going into the playoffs but Flynn's definitely shown that he's capable um, of playing in big games, big spots, and, and he's done a really nice job of that. And we'll see how the Raptors ultimately attack it. But, guys, that's all I got in this video. You guys let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts on Malachi Flynn. I think the Raptors should definitely get him in there 
and get them in the rotation, even when the team's fully healthy. healthy. But you guys let me know down below in the comment section what you would do. Do you agree with me? Let me know all that good stuff down below in the comment section. And enjoy the game tonight as the Raptors take on the Pistons at home. Hopefully the Raptors can get their third win in a row. That's all I got in this video, guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. See you guys on the next video. Let's go Raptors.